Hi, this is Rachel with Beataholic, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy adjustable slider necklace. This is a very fast project when you need a choker necklace that is simple and streamlined and elegant, and it only has two ingredients. So the first ingredient is this silver plated snake chain. This is a 26 inch finished chain necklace that has the attached clasp, and we'll get to what to do with that in just a second. And this chain is one and a half millimeters thick, which will be important later because it has to fit into the second ingredient, which is a silver adjustable slider clasp. These are really cool. It's a silver plated bead with a silicone core. So it will securely hold any chain or cord you string through it and allow it to slide through that center hole there. So it kind of functions like a macrame knot, but it's a much more polished look. And I have a couple examples of other finishes we have here. We have the silver plated, we have gold plated, we have antiqued silver plated, and we have antiqued brass. So you can mix all different kinds of chains of different finishes in these adjustable slider clasps and get a really cool piece of jewelry. So let's get started. Um, you're gonna need these two things and for tools, you'll need two pairs of pliers I'm using two pairs of flat nose pliers, but you can use one flat nose and one round nose if you prefer. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your finished snake chain necklace and you're just going to take off the clasp. So just open up the clasp and then take your pliers and find the opening of the jump ring. And you'll just open that jump ring and take the clasp off the end of the necklace. Oh, there it goes. And what you're left with is this really streamlined small end cap, which is exactly what we want on the end of this necklace that we're gonna make. So then go to the other end of your necklace and there's just a jump ring. So just quickly take that off. And now you'll take your adjustable slider clasp and slide on the first end of the snake chain and it will slide right through that silicone center of the bead. Then you'll take your other end of the necklace and slide it through in the opposite direction. So we, we started by putting the first end through this way and you'll put the second end through the opposite direction. And this will be a little bit harder because you do have that first end already going through. So something I like to do is just take a pair of pliers very gently and sort of push that end through the center of this slider class bead. And then you'll just pull the two ends through the slider clasp and your necklace is done. So let me show you what you can do with this. I'm gonna place it onto this bust here. And all you do is just simply slide the ends of the snake chain through the slider clasp to tighten your necklace and you can make it any length you want. So I think this is really beautiful as a choker. So I'm just gonna tighten the two ends by pulling them through that slider clasp. And now we have this gorgeous streamlined choker. And this necklace is 26 inches long, which is big enough so that you can slide it over your head. So all you have to do is open it up by sliding the two ends almost to your clasp. And then you have this big space here that you can slip it over your head. And that's important because you don't actually want to take these ends back out through the slider clasp because they're a little bit hard to put in and they're even harder to take out of the slider bead because these end caps are a little bit thicker than the chain. So when you want to wear it, just again, slide your two ends of the snake chain to tighten the necklace. And because this is a one and a half millimeter necklace, there's some really great tension. So 
it will slide as tight as you want and then hold it at that length. And a nice design tip that I like is that it's great to have the two ends of your chain hanging at slightly different lengths. It just creates some visual interest in the front and you get this really streamlined, really sexy look that just drapes down the front of your body. So that is how to make a quick and easy adjustable slider necklace. You can find all of these supplies at betaholic.com. Thanks so much for watching.